All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Kill to Collect. It's another roguelike. There are a lot of them coming out in the, the past couple weeks and next couple weeks, actually. But anyway, so this one's made by uh, Pisces Interactive, the people that made Magicka 2, because uh, apparently that was a different dev team than Magicka 1. I don't know. I haven't played Magicka 2 yet, so my expertise is a li little limited on that one. But anyway, so they sent me this one along, and... Uh, it actually looks really good. I'm, I'm loving the... I mean, the splash screen looks really nice. Uh, but it's, I believe, launching straight up with uh, online multiplayer. So that's going to be really cool. For the time being, though, I'm going to be... I'm just going to be doing my own thing. Uh, just because hard to get wrangle people on, I guess, the press launch day. Until tonight, and then I'll probably burr it. I don't know. Uh, but suffice to say, assuming it's good, I'll probably play this a number of times with uh, my regular group. So, challenge is kind of the daily. Okay. Or there's the campaign mode, or I, I don't know what free hunt is. Let's do story, considering it has the tutorial. Okay, life savings, character you wish to play, select a bounty, select the difficulty setting. Got it. So I can be Kate Katana, Ivan Iron Fist, Riot Ray, or Shocking Shelly. I think I'm going to go with Riot Ray. He looks... He looks fun. I'll stick with this one. Uh, let's see, Novice Hunter. Data Bank. Ooh. Okay. So, by doing these things, I don't even know. I assume we put money into this. We get uh, Infinite Dodge and Medkit, Speed Medkit, Hand Cannon, Personal Shield. Yeah, so we've got uh, a passive unlock system. It's actually, a fair amount, too. Now, here's the question. When I switch characters, does um, does this change? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, that's fine. There's also golden weapons. Uh, oh, so you unlock the golden weapons by doing various things. Titles. What do titles do? Uh, apparently it's just, you know, so you feel good about yourself. Gotcha. And character skins. So we get extra skins for people as you go along. It looks like it's mostly just recolors, but I could be wrong. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, let's let's go back to the lobby. Let's, let's pick Riot Ray. Let's go with this. Uh, difficulty, easy, normal, hard. Let's go normal. Training course. Uh, Bounty Hunting 101, learn the basics, got it. I'm like I'm liking the aesthetic, it's a lot in neon. Which is pretty good so far. I assume it's gonna be kind of twin-stick shootery. Oh, does my character have a shield on his back? Interesting. Okay, WASD to move around, aim your attacks using the mouse, familiarize yourself with the controls, then move to the next room. Okay, so I've got a shotgun, works on a cooldown. I've got a jump, which I, uh, oh, I can do in here. So it works off of like a cooldown. Interesting, all right. Space to dodge, carefully avoid enemy attacks. By jumping around. Okay. Oh, you only get Oh, I see. So you get two jo dodge tokens at a time. I got it. Okay, if you manage to clear a room without taking damage, you'll be rewarded with extra tech, the currency to use to buy items and stuff. Gotcha. So, play perfectly. Use your ultimate ability by pressing R, ultimate's most powerful attack, charged by killing enemies. Okay, so I get a... I get a one-use... Damn it. I didn't e even notice that drone there. That is a long-lasting ultimate. Okay. Yeah, so movement is really slow. Like, it's not as twin-sticky as they thought it is. It's almost more like, uh... Oh, what's this? Ammo? Oh, you know what? That probably charges one of my moves or something. I have no idea. Okay. Can only be charged by killing enemies. Yeah, we got that. You can find special weapons in each game. Each weapon works differently in the, and costs ammo to use. In the chest is a hand cannon. Pick it up and press F to shoot. You can only carry one special weapon at a time. Okay, so that's what that ammo thing was. So we get a hand cannon. Pick it up. We've got four shots. And some kind of turret. Can I shoot the turret? I can. Okay. Uh, let's see. Might as well try and get over here. I think he just shoots randomly. Hard to tell. Do I get a, uh, a bonus for killing him that? The answer is no. 
There are several items in the game that can be found in chests that will take up a slot in your inventory, bottom left corner of the screen. You can carry four different types of items at a time, each have a limited number of charges. Okay. So we get ourselves a med kit, a proximity mine, and speed. So they're all charge based power ups. Food stamps. At the end of. Each floor lies an elevator room where you can heal up and replenish your inventory. Use food stamps to buy upgrades for your character. Use tech to buy everything else. Okay. So items in the shop are randomized on each floor. So infinite dodge for 30, whip for 60, advanced medkit, med ammo. Restore your health, upgrade your character here. Buy food. So health costs 25% less for each upgrade. Uh, primary attack damage. Buy half damage... For each upgrade, once every two seconds. Interesting. Let's go with that one, because that sounds kind of fun. Okay, dead players are resurrected here upon entering the room. Gotcha. Well, I'm not going to go for any of the... Uh, let's... Wait, no, the whip is the whip is probably a weapon, just like the hand cannon. Okay, let's just stick with what I've got for the time being. So, this is a lot slower and more, almost more methodical than I thought it was going to be. Which actually works fairly well. You also unlock the wild card, Survivor. Interesting. Okay. So, I assume wild card is a title. Character skins. Golden weapons. Survivor. Hand cannon and a med kit. I see, so I start with that. So, ah, this is where I, there, this is where I can switch things around. Cool. Why don't we switch it up? Why don't we, why don't we pick a different character? Uh, let's go with Shocking Shelly. She looks interesting. She's got Electric Heart, a build turret, Furious Chop. Okay, so we'll go with her, and we're going after Penny the Punisher. Alright. So it looks like this is much more of a, a melee take game than I thought. Well, hello there, youngster. I haven't seen you around here before, I think. But then again, it might be that my eyes don't have the resolution they used to. Here, let me pour you one. Looking for a good mark? I'll let you on a little secret since you're new here. There's a hoodlum plaguing the dark alleys. If you take this route here, you'll bypass most of her gang. Easy, right? Good luck, Hunter. I, I like the visual design for the NPCs and stuff. I kind of wish the um, the enemies followed in the same suit that seems mostly like goons and stuff. Okay. So I've got a, a lightning thing. i got a staff. I've got a turret. And I've got a rocket pack. Which works a little bit better than the jump, I think. Now here's the question. Can I dodge well? The answer is sort of. Okay. I'm gonna just smack them all around. Okay. There's more enemies here than I thought there was gonna be. There we go. I'm appreciating the stuns. I kind of wish they could friendly fire each other just because I think that would make life a lot easier on me. Oh, they can destroy those though. Good to know. Okay, room cleared. This is probably to the boss, I think. I don't know, it had a big old skull on it, so I'm going to avoid that for the time being. Okay. Let's use the hand cannon, kill this guy. Grab the memory, smack this guy down. Okay, good timing on the dodge. Smack, nope. No smack. Get around. Okay, luckily Captain Baseball Staff, not super effective at fighting, but let's take him out before he hounds me any further. Okay. Oh, that ammo pickup pick only gives me one bullet. Okay, I should probably hold on to uh, that a little bit more. Okay. You know what? Let's build a turret. So it only does half damage, but that's okay. Because it works. All right. So keep moving around. Yeah, so this is a much more slower and more methodical roguelike than I thought it was going to be. I I like the uh, passive unlock progression system. It doesn't seem like it makes you overpowered or anything. It just gives you more options for the future. Uh, you know, like starting gun and 
all that good stuff. I'm so glad it makes like a donk noise whenever I've um, when I'm whenever I fail to uh, whenever I can't move my use my bleh, use my abilities. Okay, I think I can come back, right? God, I hope so. Well, let's see. Uh, double damage for 60. That's probably an item. Hook shot for 40. These sound interesting, but these probably are all temporary consumables. Let's see what food I can get. Tech bonus. Amount of energy, uh, tech gain from pickups by three for each upgrade. Uh, and that's pickup weapon damage. Let's go tech bonus. And, bo oh, wait, there's another one. Uh, length of power-ups by 10 seconds for each upgrade. Okay. Well, we're not done with this level. There's a skull room, which I'm interested in. But let's buy double damage. How much tech do I have? A fair amount. Shield generator sounds interesting. And I kind of want to buy the hook shot just to see what that does. I, oh, I can't turn around! Well, that sucks. Alright, whatever. I was really hoping I, I could buy stuff here, turn around, and go to that skull room. Guess not. Oh, well. That's fine. So there's three floors total. Makes sense. Level layout's pretty basic. Enemy variety is a little bit lower than I was expecting, honestly. It's currently just these guys. Okay, let's try hook shot. It's definitely interesting. I almost kind of wish I had more of a sweep strike strike with a staff or whatever. Or a combo. Because currently there's, there's like no combo that I can do. It's just... Smack, smack, and smack for days. Alright, we'll drop the turret, even though probably not a not necessary in this case. We'll do it anyway. Because it charges really fast, so use my ultimate a hell of a lot more often. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's... Ah! Tits. Okay, this is going to be a little hairier than I wanted it to be. There we go. Okay, now if I smack... Nope. Ah, uh, we were all outside of the radius. Well, whatever. Turret time. Let my turret handle things. Will it take out the little guys? The answer is no. Well, that's okay. It's mostly there to stun people, which is actually pretty appreciated. Uh, we did... Oh, we still get tech. We just don't get a tech bonus. Beyond this door lies a challenge, but also a prize. Let's try it. Interesting. I can shove those guys around. I don't know what this room is. Okay, let's take out the little shooty drone things. Taking them, them out is probably going to be hugely useful. Oh no. Oh, shield generator does not do what I think it does. Oh, we're in trouble. Let's heal. Smack that. Shock. Okay. Shield generator lasts for a very long time, from what I can tell. Stay away. And it's gone. Damn it. Bad timing. Room cleared. Claim your reward. Okay, food stamps. Ammo personal shield, and another med kit. Well, let's go with the med kit. So now we know how that works. What's this? Is this just like a decorative floor thing, or does it do anything? Okay, decorative floor thing it is. Gotcha. Yeah, so I think I like the shotgun guy a little bit better than this. The linear downstrike is kind of rough to work with. And it looks like most of the characters I use are melee based. Which is a bit unfortunate, but... Oh. Interesting enough, I don't drop my, um... I don't drop my turrets down in, uh... I, I don't drop my turrets down wherever I drop it right next to me. Eh, makes sense. Just walk away from him. Alright. Yeah, so this is much more slower, much more methodical than I was honestly expecting. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just not used to it. Okay, refill my special weapon here. Yeah. We'll do that. 
Proximity mine's probably a good idea. Let's do that. I got plenty of tech. Now let's see what... I got a fair amount of food stamps too. So, ooh, Hunter's movement speed. We need that. Uh, health by health pool by one. Kind of need that. Lowers the cooldown of special attacks by half a second. Okay, let's do that. I like the upgrade system. It's nice. It's still kind of RNG dependent, but not fully. Uh, and I actually really appreciate that. So let's go to the next floor. Things are... These are... Uh, I don't know. I'm feeling good about this one. It's... It's not as, um, fast-paced as, like, Binding of Isaac or a lot of other ones. Okay, Penny the Punisher has Super Teleport. Gotcha. Are we going straight to the boss now? Yeah, boss arena. Penny the Punisher. I'll splatter your brain, small fry. Okay, she's got a hook shot. I'll have to watch out for that one. Congrats! You have... You have grabbed my my little goon. Okay, drop a turret. Oh, stay away. Just zap. Looks like Penny does not have a whole lot of HP, but yeah, I'm 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 going to use my newly found increased uh, movement speed to kite here a fair amount. Okay. I'm gonna just focus on clearing. Uh, enemy, the enemy pool as much as I can. Drop the turret. Shock. Oh, that does like a chain lightning move. Useful. And stay away. Zap. Smack. Smack. Nope, not smack. Now smack. Stay away from that. Hop. Okay, we're in a good spot. Let's just keep zapping them as much as I can. I don't know if they have infinite spawns, admittedly. I, I I assume after a while they they drop off, but I could be wrong. It, it looks like they are infinite. Okay. So I should probably use my jetpack a little bit more often. Oh! It's not just that they're infinite spawns. Uh, it's that it uh, slowly gets more and more as we go along here. Alright. I'd say that's concerning, but I'm probably fine. Let's get out of the way. She's almost dead anyway. There we go. So not not too hard in any way, shape, or form. Shocking completionist. So we now have loadout medic. And we're working on speedster next. And a title. Okay. Sedina Sinners. Uh, oh, that's the that's the next bounty we can do. So, oh, I see how it works. So, story chapter completion. So, there's uh, Penny the Punisher, training course Penny the Punisher, Sedina Sinners, Slasher Sedina, Reclaimers, Trasher Trish, Bots and Biomatas, so on and so forth, all the way up. Switch game modes. We can do repeatable or one try. Uh, do I recognize any of these people? Nope, so these are probably developers, if anything. Maybe Insomnia Knights is a person. That's a very high score. I have no idea how that would work. We're not going to do that, though. I, I'll probably do the daily with uh, multiplayer, just because. So, let's check data bank. I just want to see. I thought I'd be, like, putting data into this, but no dice. So medic gets me two med kits. That's not a bad deal. And then we've got this, too. Blow three enemies with a grenade. Hand cannon. Kill a defender with a hand cannon. Yeah, so these I'm probably going to do later. Oh, because I kept killing enemies with a hook shot. It wasn't, uh, it didn't count, I think. Okay, wildcard. And we're working on challenger, but I don't think these change anything about the gameplay. That's fine. Well, do we want to try this guy? Ooh, warp field. Warps to a different location. Quick jabs. Very fast punches. It does minor damage. Armor breaker and plasma field. Otherwise, Kate Katana. Let's go with I Ivan Iron Fist, and let's go with the Medic loadout. Let's try him. I heard that you made short work of the bastard with the bat and her guys. You seem resourceful. I have a small problem with some effing rodents that took over the sweet spot that me and my crew used to hold in the commercial district. 
They reduced most of my gang to ground beef, and their beloved Sedina took my effing arm. Crush them, and I'll make sure that it's worth your while, Hunter. You know, with all the technology we're seeing, you'd think he'd be able to get more than just like a basic grabber claw. Maybe then again it's, uh... Yeah, like this... This character's gonna be interesting. Uh, this char character totally has like a pair of bionic arms. Or... Ow. Okay. So this guy is much faster, I see. It's interesting that the uh, previous boss has now become the, uh, has become kind of the norm. As like an enemy type. I was wondering how they were going to handle extra enemy types in this game. And there we go. That's cool. So we've got a challenge room. We might as well go into it. For better or worse. I've got two medkits to work from. They don't have a stun of any variety, so we're very reliant on hit-and-run tactics for the time being. That's probably okay. I'm gonna just charge it up. Once we get Plasma Field, I'm sure things will get a lot easier. I seem to have, like, a, a charge punch that I can do. Like, um... Oh, interesting. So I've got, like, a burning field. Oh, stay away. So those guys explode, but uh, Plasma Field is a, uh, a damage aura. That's neat. So we get, we get a hand cannon. We don't need any ammo. Yeah, the teleport does not teleport you to anywhere you want. It's just a short flash forward. I was expecting that it would let me teleport around the room, like um, Flame Break style. No dice, but that's okay too. Like, honestly, this is kind of more of a... I'm gonna say, like... Oh, he keeps spinning. So stay away from those guys when they're in spin-to-win mode. And I got killed by a punk swinger. Yeah, okay, we'll try this again. Bounty failure. So I don't get anything. I do get a little bit for that. Let's retry. Okay. I don't know if this game's launching early access or not. I should look that up. Let's look that up now. Let's see. Click bounty. Oh, kick player. That's nice. Settings. Let's see. I should probably look at that. Player title. Wild card. Reset hints. Visual window. Full screen. I just want to see if there's anything interesting here. Uh, volume. Gameplay. Quick fire player names. I'll turn that on. We'll need that. Oh, you drag these instead. Okay, input method, keyboard and mouse, keyboard aim. Anything else particularly neat here? Nope. Okay. Alright, so near as far as I can tell, they're launching this game in complete, like, 1.0. I don't know if they'll be doing, like, continued support after. Um. But, uh, yeah, they might. Okay, let's stay away from that. Oh, we've got another hookshot lady to work with, too. Luckily, I can just smack her smack her around pretty easily. Oh, we've still got dudes, though. Luckily, they're dumb and they they shoot each other. Yeah, so this character's interesting. If I, if I can get outside of somebody's blind zone, we're in a good position. But if we've got somebody that's swinging around, we're in trouble. All right, let's try this again. Stay away from Captain. Boop. I guess what I should do is... Oh, God! I, you, I can't... I can't teleport through enemies. Good to know. Luckily, they kill each other for me. Okay, stay away for a second. Yeah, so the, the dudes with the laser pokers, the kind of... Goofy tanks, I don't know, whatever. We get uh, some food stamps, ammo, and hand cannon medkit. Useful. Yeah, I apparently can't do my teleport dodge through enemies. That's surprising. Um, but yeah, the, the the bad Star Wars droid. I don't know what you want to call it. Does a suicide uh, runaway move. Like, I don't know what's up with this guy. Which concerns me a little bit. Stay away 
from that a bit. Okay, he's starting to spin. Interesting. So the red guy has... multiple moves in this mess. Oh, this guy revives them. Or something. Okay. That's fair. Stay away. I don't know if he revives them necessarily, but still. Let's kill him. I don't know what this, like, weird robot's deal is. I don't even know if he is a weird robot. Oh, he puts a shield on them. Out. That's obnoxious enough to for me to want to get rid of it. Get back here, so I can punch you. All right. Uh, we got the damage aura, but I don't want to. I don't want to use it. I have no use for it. Ah, I missed. He ain't dead yet. Well, that's okay. Okay, room clear, get a little bit of tech tokens, but it's, uh, not as much as if I cleared it full. Admittedly. Oh god. I get the feeling this game is mildly biased against Ivan Iron Fist. Honestly. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, he seems like somebody I will play in multiplayer with people, but might or not, might not play on my own. Alright, so let's let's try a little bit of Kate Katana. Yeah, yeah, ow. Uh, Kate Katana. I bit my tongue there. I don't know how I did it. Uh, let's skip this story. We don't need to we don't need to see it. But uh yeah, balanced a little bit more for ranged combat. I mean, honestly it does feel like a lot of this game is balanced for ranged combat, and that is not the game. Okay, so we've got that, and we've got like some kind of slash thing, which I mean effectively is about the same as uh, all the other moves. Like, unfortunately, the characters are kind of seven different varieties of... Ow! Seven different varieties of largely the same. I don't know if I can dodge through those. Unfortunately, these little drones are a lot faster than I want them to be. Not much I can do about that, apart from just kind of avoid it. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm not digging this character too much, either. Oh, I see. It'll knock people capable of being knocked down on their asses. Boom. I feel like explosions do more damage to me than they do to my enemies. Which feels a little cheap. But maybe it's just me. Maybe it's Maybelline. Up, oh, run away. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like comboing enemies is really in the cards, either. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I, I think I'm gonna stick with the other characters. Ivan Iron Fist seemed like he was a lot of fun. Uh, but the whole, like, suicide bomber thing is kind of a downer. Okay. Oh, this thing lays proximity mines, doesn't it? That only blow up on me. There we go. Luckily, there's a little bit of a uh, cooldown, so I can I can trigger them on my own. Oh, let's trigger it. There it goes. I do like it when uh, proximity mines ju don't just immediately blow up in your face, uh, and when you can trigger them to take out enemies. Let's see. And that was the pit the epitome of pointlessness. I was expecting my ult would do something crazy. No. Alright, well that's fine. Yeah, so this seems more more of kind of like a party game. Uh, roguelike. Than a, like, play it consistently roguelike. It, it definitely does feel a lot more toned down than uh, most of the other ones I play. There's a neat power-up system. Problem is, the power-up system... Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty... Basic, it's just base stats and stuff. Okay, let's try and trigger these. There we go. Okay, so we get ultimate power, we've got ammo, I should probably use my handgun more, and stuff like that. Like, I like the I like the idea of the power-up system, but honestly, that means this game needs more of a uh, infinite mode than these, like, short bounties. 
Because they get these, like, you know, basic stat-ups. And... I get, I get these, like, random stat-ups. And... I don't have much of a use for them. Because they only last for, like, a little while. I assume the levels get longer later. Yeah, so this one's gonna be four. So that helps a little bit, but still. Okay, so let's buy food. Uh, special attack cooldown. That seems worthwhile. Okay, ammo all weapons by two for each upgrade, or by health cost 25% less. Let's go weapon ammo. That would be a little bit more useful. Health isn't that expensive. I got a fair amount of these. So we can get a proximity mine for 40. Yeah, let's do that. Proximity mine and double damage. And I haven't used my handgun yet, so I don't need extra ammo. Alright. Uh, but yeah, this seems like the kind of roguelike that you would play with your friends. is just kind of like a uh, goof around and have fun type game. You know, it doesn't have quite the variety or the longevity that a game like Binding of Isaac would have. Or even like Rampage Knights. But it's the sort of thing that I, you know, I could see somebody enjoying. Uh, with a group of friends. Along the way. I'm kind of making some serious missteps here. Okay. Luckily my special attack cool is down pretty fast. Okay. You know, in retrospect... No, wait, no. With Ivan, I would never have been able to... Uh... Uh, that's a shield dude or something. I don't know what this guy does. Let's just do that. Nothing here. We've got these, like, dumb stab bots. But they're not terribly threatening. I don't know what this guy's supposed to do. Heal? There we go. Well, it... Nothing, as far as I can tell. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's keep going. Nothing else here. But, honestly, if they if they put in, like, more interesting pickups, this could probably be more fun. I also would actually like it if, um... The, like, picked up ranged weapons had, like, a much larger ammo count and you're actually supposed to use them. Like, this this is a, I'm gonna say a melee twin stick shooter, effectively. You know, very, very heavily melee focused. Which surprises me a little bit. As, uh... That does kind of limit the gameplay down a lot. Because it's also very slow and very methodical. Like, you know, the characters don't move around very quick. Uh... Take a fair amount of damage, too. Should probably use my power-ups instead of just... Waiting for death. Oh, that sucked. I did my, like, uh... My special move to try and, like, slash into him. And, uh, knock him away. But, yeah, those tank treads dudes cannot be, uh, knocked away at all. Alright. At least I can kind of outrange them a little bit, which helps. But still. Music is, uh, definitely dropped off in a way, too. It's it's definitely gotten kind of more to the just, like, bass background-y. I'm gonna say, like, I'm, I'm gonna say, like, generic cyberpunk in a way. Okay, stay away from Lightning Bot. We need to take out, uh, Captain Shieldsies. There we go. No more shields for you. Yeah, that doesn't even knock him back. That sucks a bit. Stay away from that. Two down. Okay. So I don't know what this dude's dealio is. Oh, damn it. Some kind of weird box container thing. It feels like he's got a briefcase full of something. But no, yeah. See, unfortunately, this character dives forward towards enemies, making these, like, little punch bots actually rather dangerous, because it's like, I'm going to dive towards towards somebody that really wants to kill me. Alright, so I've got... Oh, no, we don't want to go in there yet. We want to go this, this direction. Challenge room. For better or worse. Right? Let's throw on double damage. Okay. 
I don't know how long double damage lasts, admittedly. But I should be fine. Oh, we just summoned more. Okay, looks like double damage is over. That's fine. Blast them back. Let's take out this guy. Keep going. It, like, it works. The ability combos are interesting. Honestly, I would, uh... Enjoy maybe a little bit more variety in it, just because it's, like, usually generic dodge. Flamethrower. Medkit. Alright. No, oh, the flamethrower does not come with full ammo. Good to know. Uh, because all of the dodges... Ex no, yeah, all of the dodges more or less work the exact same, which kind of ruins the uh, sense of variety. Okay, I can't buy any health kits. I have one, so let's get a shield generator along the way. Uh, special attack damage. Not a bad one. Special attack cooldown. Okay, and I can't get anything else along the way. Well, that's fine. The uh, trigger for that lift needs to be a little bit more obvious, I think. Or not obvious, but like, uh, it needs to be bigger. Alright, new floor. Well, we've got two floors left, one of which is a boss. Eh, we're doing it live. I guess it's going to be a little bit longer of an impressions video along the way. Yeah, so now I do an extra half point of damage with my special. Actually works out fairly well. Gotta stay away from Captain Pokelopes there. Okay, now who's the guy that is there? Yep, there he is. Damn it! Interesting, the character will automatically attack. There's like an auto-aim system in this game. I did not expect that. No, that's bad. I don't like the fact that uh, the character will like slow down or stop to do things uh, either, but I, I used my special and my character immediately moved right. Instead of, instead of going towards my cursor, uh, my character moved right. Oh shit. Wait, what? Okay. Not gonna deny it. Those, like, chargey bomb guys confuse me. Like, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to fight them. Uh, because all of my characters are melee. Like, that's almost kind of the height of dickishness of, like, here's an enemy. Oh, they'll kill you if they get close to you. Oh, you can only fight things close to you. Well, there's a flamethrower. I mean, it's my, my fault for having the flamethrower. I'm not going with the flamethrower again. It's inefficient and barely does damage. Okay. Can I do... Oh. I can do the shield generator. There we go. Something just exploded. Oh, I see. Landmine. Okay, I don't know what ultimate power does. Ultimate power does... question mark? I have no idea. Well, whatever. Okay, so we get infinite dodge, med kit, and ammo. Alright. Well, I'm very injured. Luckily, I think we're about to hit the exit. Not quite. We're getting close. We'll be there soon. Okay, stay away from Captain Sword Pokes. Oh, I see the flamethrower does uh, burning damage after the fact. Still, not very useful. It's way too risky for my tastes. Okay. Oh, we're still not done yet. I almost kind of wish uh, you could find the uh, food stamps power-ups uh, in the same way that you find, like, the other things, like that med pack on the ground. Like, it would be really neat if you could find these things on the ground. Just because they're not terribly game-changing. And I think it would be, I think it would just be fun to, like, run across them. I'm going to say in the wild. 
Uh, is there gonna be two challenge rooms here? There might be. Okay, take a Captain 3D, 2D, Gun and Shooty. I've got three med kits here, but I'm gonna try and save them a little bit. Uh, just because I uh, might as well have like, you know, limited charge consumables on the boss. I'm glad my uh, I'm glad my special move knocks them down. But it's kind of frustrating. We get two challenge rooms. Interesting. Oh, this is probably going to be rather risky. Okay. We're going to do two and then three. A lot of these guys around. Oh, that's annoying. I try and do my, um... I try and do my my flamethrower, my... It's dependent on the direction my character is pointing. That is not appreciated. Oh, that's okay. Hopefully we get some med kits from this. We didn't get the tech points, but honestly, we're sitting on so many of those, it doesn't matter. Okay, we get another med kit and we get some kind of speed thing. Now are we done? A lot longer of a level than I was expecting. There we go. Okay, so we get food stamps. What's this? Energy disc, infinite dodge, advanced med kit. I'm just going to use those. Let's get an advanced med kit along the way. It's probably a lot more worthwhile to me. Ultimate ability damage, health by one. Let's do ultimate ability damage. Ultimate ability cooldown. Health. And I would have loved to get that speed up, but no dice. Okay, and I think we don't have a choice on this anymore. Let's go with uh, infinite dodge and switch it out for... Oh, energy dink. Uh, energy disc is a ranged weapon. Well, that's fine with me. Uh, let's see how we do against the boss. Yeah, so I, I think I'll make this into more of a party game than, like, a standard Let's Play, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, that's where you see the cooldown. On that. Just because I think this would be a lot more fun. Oh. Just because I, I think this would be a lot more fun across the board. Alright, dig an energy disc. That's a fun one. Okay. That'll be interesting to run up against, but that's okay. Luckily, these guys have kind of a fair cooldown on their ability. So they don't use it very often. Alright, but yeah, I just have to fight a couple waves of these guys. In retrospect, should have gone for you. Wait, we've knocked him on his ass, let's kill him. Yeah, I, I don't like the, the spin, win, uh, spin to win guys. They're decidedly unapproachable. Was that it? That was it? Man, most of the challenge rooms were harder than that one. Alright, whatever. Oh, we get a fair amount of C, so we're not quite done with Speedster and Challenger. Well, that's fine. Gang subdued. They volunteer to give up the location of their leader. So that's good. That this is good music again. I like it. I love the 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 painted cutscenes here. I guess that's it. I guess I have to hit skip, otherwise we're not going to be able to do anything. Okay. So next up is Slash of Sedina, who's I guess just an advanced version of the uh, double sword people from earlier. Let's see. I assume we haven't really unlocked a whole lot of other things. A lot of these you're going to have to play the game a ton before you're ever going to be able to get them. Oh well. Not the end of the world. It's fun, so it's the flamethrower. Just kill 15 enemies with it. What about the uh, laser cutter? Nope. Uh, laser disc. Kill an enemy with the last bounce of the laser disc. Oh, I should have used it a lot more aggressively. Oh, well. Eventually, we'll probably unlock it along the way. Let's see. Two times speed, hand cannon, personal shield. One of these is going to be laser disc. No. None of these are going to be laser disc. I actually really wish some of these would... Um, 
give you like a passive power up in the beginning instead of just consumables. Just because I think thing that would make things a little bit more interesting along the way. Oh well, not the end of the world. So, I guess with that, we're done. We've seen every character. We've, uh, we've gotten some, you know, somewhat down the, uh, the story mode. I think this is going to be the kind of thing I do for, like, Hatterday or with Birdcatcher or whatever, just because it's not... It's it's not the kind of roguelike that you really want to play alone, and uh, it doesn't have the kind of content that, you know, I'd ever get, like, 100 episodes out of, but it would be kind of a fun party thing to do with friends. Uh... And I like it. Hopefully they add more to the game just to keep it interesting. I feel like the power-up system should be expanded, and they really desperately need, like, an infinite mode. Because, let's switch game modes. Because we've got, like, the daily stuff. The one try stuff. And then, let's go to the main menu. There's also the, uh, free bounty mode. Free hunt. Which just lets me fight... Hunt any bounty in any order without the story beats. So we just get to pick these things and, like, keep going through. I don't entirely know how this would work. Like... What I would want is the ability to, like, load up a lobby for this and fight just level after level after level collecting power-ups and just having it stack and, you know, keep going. Because uh, I think that would be more interesting and it's like a go as far as you can, not a, you know, beat the boss, you're done with the level, everything's wiped and you try again. Because I think it would be much more interesting that way, at least as far as I'm concerned. Because uh, the concept of just, you know, going down a list and fighting another boss just lose all my progress. Oh, that's adorable. I like that animation. Uh, but I, I think that would make it more interesting. I don't know. Either way, it's still fun, and I uh, might try it tonight with Bird. I think that would, I think that would be enjoyable. So I guess with that, I think the game's gonna be ten bucks. I don't know. It might be fifteen. I'd say like ten if you're like really into this sort of thing with, with friends. Otherwise, if they have like a five pack eventually for like. Oh, not a five pack, a four pack for like, you know, twenty twenty five dollars. I think that would actually be like a really uh, worthy advancement, just because you know it is a fun kind of co op brawlery game to play with play with uh, a couple of people uh, night after night. I would never play like random lobby. I think I don't think that would be very fun. Is there, there's no difference between easy, normal, and hard. Weird. All right. Well, whatever. So I guess with this, if you guys like this impressions video slash first episode of a Let's Play, sort of, uh, give me a like, it helps more than you know, and if you want to see more kills to collect, uh, it's probably going to be multiplayer, but uh, yeah, if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because, well, I'm probably going to do at least a mostly full playthrough of this game, if not a full one, it's not too long, so I could definitely figure out, let's do a fine game story, I assume I'm not going to find any lobbies, let's not even bother, come to think of it, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode, and as always, thanks for watching.